Cast iron pots and campfires were the way the cowboys cooked long ago, and that's how they cooked at the Bayou Ranch's annual chuck wagon cook-off. Held at the ranch's roundup camp, it's designed to bring people together to enjoy a traditional cowboy meal while celebrating the history of ranching. It's a representation of the days of ranching before the fences. Twice a year they would take out the uh, chuck wagon, uh, they'd set up tents, they'd have their remuda of horses with them and they'd round up all the cattle on the range. Everybody's cattle was running together, so it was a big, big event. and. Uh, a lifestyle that uh, really had changed. Eight teams were competing to make the best beef stew, and the recipes were rather secret, but I did manage to get a few tips. You start with the best Alberta beef that we have to offer, and other than that, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to tip our hand yet. So we braise the meat in, very, uh, in a very hot skillet first, and uh, we add a variety of spices and gravies and so on, and we do add uh, a beer. So I will tell you that we do add a can of beer to it, and then all sorts of vegetables. And uh, it really, the, the uh, key is the long, slow cook. And a long, slow cook they got, with four hours to simmer over the coals under watchful eyes, before being served up to the judges who were considering taste, texture, appearance, and aroma. And while the cook-off is a chance to compete for the best beef stew, it's really about celebrating the correlation between the Bar U Ranch and the Calgary Stampede. Well, the Bar U, by the time 1912 rolled around, was world-renowned, not only for shipping beef uh, across Canada and around the world, but George Lane, the owner at the time, had decided the prairie needs some power for those plows, so he had come in with Percher and Horses had the largest Percheron horse stud of its kind in Canada, a thousand head of those large, gentle giants. And he was the one that listened to Guy Wiedek and said, you've got a good idea here, convinced the other three big four, that would have included A.E. Cross, Archie McLean, and Pat Burns, to come up with $25,000 a piece to put on that very first Calgary Stampede. And that ranching legacy is why Arnold and her husband have been involved in the cook-off since it began. We absolutely um, feel very strongly about preserving our Western heritage and in, in educating people uh, about uh, the existence of the ranch here. For Shaw TV, I'm Karen Coppitz.